Um, yeah, it's obviously tough to lose a ball game at the buzzer. Uh, it, it, it happened. You know, we just, uh, yeah, we just couldn't guard, we couldn't, couldn't guard Foreman. You know, we made uh, I mean, just a lot of threes. We've pride ourselves on guarding. I look at the box score without breaking down the film. It's just a, uh, you know, it's not good. Just we didn't guard threes and we didn't rebound the ball. We scored enough points and we obviously shot a high percentage. Um, you know, we didn't get a exactly the shot we want at the end we prefer to drive it um but uh, i thought our execution a little bit before that we had them down i think it was nine or ten late a couple timely free throws a couple turnovers and then we didn't get over a couple flares and we and we paid for it so this uh this one hurts uh we we, we uh we kind of feel like someone took your lunch money and you know just just ran out the door on you <clears throat> I mean, 54 percent, you know, yeah, yeah. I thought some silly turnovers. I mean, Zane had some. Eddie, had, you know, a couple of shots. We, we were in the double bonus. Just put it on the rim. We get right, in, you know, we get two feet away. Um, I thought a couple of those, but we, we shot it good enough. We didn't shoot the ball great from the perimeter, but we we obviously got to the foul line and shot a high percentage. Um, you know, they tried to, which we knew they'd play zone. They haven't played a lot of zone this year, but we prepared for zone because they, they normally play a zone. Um, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, you know, turnovers. I just, it's hard to give up 13 threes and win a ball game, to be honest with you. At the uh, last, this game in the Elon game, I believe Brian took the final shot. and Mike hasn't been in the final several minutes last few games. Is that something rotation-wise you're doing, or is it just... Well, he didn't play great tonight. We got different guys. I mean, he, you know, he didn't. Uh, he's, he's played well before that, but tonight he, you know, no rebounds in 18 minutes. You know, um, so we just we want another guy. Jordan's been playing better. Um, last play, we ran we ran the ball screen for Eddie. Um, so Justin ball screen for Eddie, and then we, we had an overload. Brian, then one more to Zane in the corner. I think it was a little bit of obviously a quick shot because we didn't get the. We didn't get the last shot. It was open, but when you don't make it, obviously you leave a little time on the clock. Um, but those are tough plays for a player too. I think because he's open, it's like do you not shoot it? You know, um, you know he got a open three they missed, and that guy threw in a threw in a missile. Uh, we just we didn't. We've I just thought we played with fire a little bit. We you know it, it, it hurt us at Elon, it hurt us at Pittsburgh, it hurt us tonight. We had him kind of. Dead to rights, but we didn't we didn't close the deal. Whether it was a silly turnover or not getting over flare, and then the guy makes a makes a bomb. You know, we we haven't um, we haven't quite had just that ability to close. Um, and we've got some seniors, so that that's you know uh, that's 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 a little bit disappointing. Obviously, our couple of our younger guys played played a lot better this evening for us. Yeah, I mean it's you know you know we expect to win at home. We didn't we didn't you know we did it in stretches, but we didn't we we don't consistently um, you know like there's been certain nights where I feel like we're we're incredibly engaged and ready to go, and this one was I think in in spurts you know and, and that's that's hurt us a little bit. I I think. Uh, the message hasn't gotten across enough. Like well, Hofstra and Elon, they're good. They're in the they're in the top 100 of the RPI, and um, so we, we haven't done a, a good enough job with with that. And I think that that's hurt us a little bit. It's, it's almost like you know you're playing with fire and you, you get burnt a little bit, and that that certainly happens. It always hurts to lose a game like that at the buzzer, but you know, it's really one we should have we should have put away. We didn't turn over as pressure. We got the shot. We needed to come up with a stop. We, you know, we kind of did. Um, and some timely fouls. It's hard to look, totally complain about the fouls. You shot 75 percent. Normally you take that. Justin played really well and uh, got a lot of opportunities inside. Was that a dedicated effort tonight to get him the ball inside? He's been playing really well. Um, if anything, I think we should have got him at a few more times. You know, um, I, I think if we did sputter a little bit after the tape, we turned it over. You know, I think we didn't. You know, maybe we settled versus. I mean. You know, he's shooting 54% and 28 free throw attempts. You kind of get where you want to get. Uh, but he, he's been playing well, and um, he's really a starter that is you know, coming off the coming off the bench for us. But he, he's—I told you before—he was hurt a little bit early in the season. I think he's in a pretty good way for us right now. Yes. Um. 
guess the team might, you know. Yeah, I don't, you know, I'd have to look to see it's not a big number. You know, we didn't get, we didn't offensive rebound the way we normally do, but I'd have to see what our pres offensive percentage was rebounding. Normally we want to get like 38% of our misses. We didn't get that, but we shot a pretty good percentage. I, I think sometimes it, it hurts you against zone, your ability to offensive rebound. Guys get cut standing a little bit on the perimeter versus man and you kind of run in a set, you know where and when the shot's going to get taken. That's one of the benefits at times to play in the zone. Yeah, you know, we just did it. I thought, I thought they had a lineup we could hurt hurt them with. You know, uh, we, we hadn't pressed the last couple games, and obviously it worked for us because I, I really felt like for us to get where we hoped to get to, if you look at our offensive numbers, they're much higher than they've ever been, our efficiency numbers. They haven't been this good since our third year. They might even be higher than that. But I think the troubling piece for us is we're not consistently guarding. We are in stretches. Sunday we did. Uh, Wilmington we did for a half, you know, we just didn't do it tonight. You know, we we're a team that was played a really good schedule early and was got at threes almost better than anyone in the country, you know, and now we're not, you know, and it's, I still, I feel like we have a little bit of that, like, excuse to us, like, I got hit with the screen or I didn't call it. And, and I think really to be the team we hope to be, you can't have that. We tell them all the time, results are excuses, you can't, but you can't have both. And I mean, we just didn't do a good enough job of making the miss. You know, I think the average person would say, well, they just, they made some shots and, and they did, but you know, we've always prided ourselves on making teams miss. And I think to get where we want to get in our league, if you look at our league, the way so many teams shoot it, we, we don't want to just get up and down and jack shots. We're scoring enough points. We're second in the league in field goal percentage, maybe even first now, but we've got a guard. We've got a guard better. And that, that's been inconsistent since, you know, right before Christmas. It's been, you know, one game good, one game not so good. So we, we got to find our footing in that area. Well, I mean, it ended up being early, you know, obviously, especially when you're in the double bonus and, um, you know, maybe a chance to, chance to drive it. You know, we have two really and the last second plays against zone, um, that was one of them. Uh, one's for Eddie off a ball screen, the other one's for him off a ball screen. Um, we have pretty good trust with Eddie making it a good decision. But yeah, I mean, we left some time on the clock. I don't think it was anything intentional. I do think it's a little bit tricky for a player. You know, maybe we went a couple seconds too early, but it's hard to like when you're you're open to say, oh shoot, I can't shoot this one. That that that's that's kind of a that's a tough spot for. A, for a guy, he makes it. He looks like a, a hero, like his guy, you know. So if, I guess we could do it over if we could have waited about two seconds, and that guy wouldn't have thrown it in. Yeah, he was a little bit. I, 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 I think that's been an issue with Mike and him a little bit at times. His scoring area, like shot ready, feet ready. Um, you don't get any extra points, you know. Uh, I don't know if that's because, you know, uh, we just got to keep drilling it, or guys get like, you know, they get a little antsy. Um, but I, you would hope a little bit with veteran guys that maybe not as antsy as, as maybe we've been. That scoring area, yeah, we, we were a little bit deep on that. A quick turnaround Saturday against William and Mary after tonight. Uh, that's the league. Yeah, yeah that's. To well, we got we to gotta spend time, turn, you know, turn the page and going through their stuff. Really, we're not going to be able to. Re they're obviously in first place. They're undefeated. They won an overtime tonight. They were, they were a prolific three point shooting team. So it, it is, you know, not a lot of time, obviously, to. Practice, but we'll try to game plan, and it's you know it's one of these wacky weekends of the CAA where you're home and then you're away. So there's no way around. We're gonna play the game at four o'clock. It's gonna go up, so we better be ready to play.